In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take your Lego Spike Prime robot and make it steer left and right, much like a car, using Python code. Now to get started on this tutorial, you obviously need your robot with two wheels already built, and you will also need the Lego Education Spike app open on your computer. Once you've got that app open, make sure you click on the new project button in the middle of the homepage and give your project a name such as steering left and right. And we're going to be using Python code today. So once you've got that selected, click on create and you're good to go. First of all, just clean up your screen by minimizing the knowledge base and the console. And I want you to delete the existing code that came in when you first loaded the app up and I'm just going to zoom in as far as I can go and finally the last thing I want to do is make sure your robot is connected to the um, computer as you can see mine is connected by having the blue ring around the hub there which means I'm connected via Bluetooth you can also see the motors and the sensors are connected to those different ports as well so make sure your robot is connected to your computer once you've done that, you are good to go with your coding. So we're going to start by writing in line number one from Spike, import motor pair. Now you probably somewhat remember from the previous video that this line of code is simply saying we are importing the motor pair module from the Spike library. So the Spike library is just a whole chunk of code, a whole stack of code written by some other smart dude. And we are importing the motor pair module, which is going to allow us to control the wheels or the two movement motors together as a pair, which will get our robot moving around nicely today. Uh, the next line of code is telling the computer which ports our movement motors are plugged into. So first of all, you need to come up with a name for your wheels or your movement motors. I'm going to stick with the same name I always use, which is movement underscore motors. Whatever name you come up with, it has to be one word. It doesn't have to be movement motors. Another popular choice is wheels. Um, it's up to you though. And I'm going to say movement motors equals motor pair and just tell the computer which ports your two wheels or two motors are plugged into. Mine are plugged into A and B as you can see at the top here. I need to write it as B comma A though, so my robot will drive forward. And if you're plugged into ports A and B, I'd imagine you will have to do the same thing as well. I'm not sure why um, that Lego Spike app does that, but we pretty much have to have them in reverse there just to make sure that they are moving forwards. Um, I might put a comment in there that just says set up the movement motors, which are the wheels. Remember, comments are just plain simple English. They are ignored by the computer. They're just there to explain to others who are reading our code uh, what's happening in our program. Okay, so we know what ports we're plugged into. The next thing we're going to do is write the name of our movement motors again. And this time, we're going to do a full stop instead of an equal sign. So movement motors dot. And we're going to write set default speed with an underscore between each of those words. We're just going to set up the speed for our motors. Remember this speed can be anywhere between 0 and 100%. I'm going to go with 50. So it's moving at half speed. And I'm going to put a comment in after that. It just says set the movement speed of the motors. All right, so motors are plugged into those ports. We know how fast we want them moving. Let's get our robot steering to the left to begin with. Okay, so we're going to write in movement underscore motors one more time. And we might remember from the previous video that to make our robot actually move somewhere, we call up the move function. So movement motors dot move. And we need to tell our robot how far we want to move. So I'm going to move forward 50 and then put a comma and in quotation marks write centimeters. Now that at the moment will get me driving forward in a straight line for 50 centimeters. But if we want to veer to the left, we need to put in another comment. And if we want to turn to the left, we need to basically turn our wheel from zero degrees, which is straight ahead, to the left, which is into the negatives. So I would have to move, say, minus 20 if I wanted to move just a slight left turn. If I wanted to do a sharp turn, I'd do something like minus 80. That would do a really sharp left turn. Okay, but basically you're turning your wheel somewhere between um, zero and minus 100, I think it is roughly. Um, 
to work out how far you want to steer to the left. If you want to go to the right, then you'll go to the positive numbers, so somewhere between 0 and 100. So by turning 10, I think it's 10 degrees, you're just doing a slight turn to the right. But if you're turning, say, 70 degrees to the right, then it's going to be a super sharp turn. So let's test this out. We'll go to the left first, as I said before. We're going to go minus 20 degrees, and that should turn slightly left. Well, not turn, it's going to be steering slightly left. We're moving forward as well as turning to the left at the same time. All right, so if we go and give that a test run now, we'll see what happens. All right, so that worked pretty well for me. That got my robot steering um, slightly to the left. Now, what if we want to turn to the right after that? So let's put in another line of code underneath. It says movement underscore motors dot move. We'll still move forward 50 centimeters, just to keep it simple. And let's do a sharp turn. Let's go about 70 degrees to the right. That'll say steer sharply to the right. Okay, so first of all, when we run our code, it's going to turn to the left slightly for 50 centimeters. Then we're going to move forward another 50 centimeters, but this time we're going to be turning pretty sharp to the right. It'll almost make a circle, I'd imagine. So let's give it a run and see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. That is working pretty well. So you can see how we can turn left and right um, quite easily while we're steering along with our robot. Now, one other thing I might show you before I go is let's try a little bit of a challenge here. Let's try and get our robot to draw a circle. Okay, so I'm going to just delete that second line of code. We don't need that anymore. What I'm going to do is adjust this first line of um, movement code. So instead of moving about 50 centimeters, let's go... I have done this before, so I'll give you the answer. I'm going to go forward about 58 centimeters, and I'm going to turn to the right at 70 degrees. Okay, and I'll change my comment here to say, drive in a circle. Oops. All right, so that's, that's it. That's a pretty simple code to make our robot fling around in a circle. So let's give that a crack, and we'll see what happens. All right, so that worked pretty well for me. That was just a little circle. What I'd like you to try and do is draw a bigger circle. Okay, I'll give you the answer to draw a very small circle. Try and do a bigger one now. You're going to have to adjust how far the robot moves and at what number of degrees the robot turns. Okay, it's a matter of playing with those two orange numbers until you get it right. It's just trial and error. Um, so we'll see how you go. I'll catch you in the next video. I'll show you a different way of turning your robot. They're called spin turns. So I'll see you in the next video.